Hello there and welcome. This is episode 3 of my season 4 Let's Play. I just finally got some rubber trees in here. And uh, in here you can see I place uh, a filter from Rest Power 2, uh, sorry, a transposer. I am sorry I did it that uh, behind your back, so to speak, but uh, I didn't realize it. You can see it's very easy, it's just a piston with a piece of redstone. A cobblestone on top and bottom, and some wood planks on the sides. And the piston, as you can, as you know, is an iron ingot, a piece of redstone, some wood, and some cobblestone. Then I throw two chicken eggs in here, so they will go to here, <coughs> and hopefully all the eggs they will lay will go through the transposer to the bottom. Sadly, uh, there's nothing there to get them right now. But I will I plan to solve that in a second. Uh first I should eat something. Yep, I also I also killed some chicken. Oh dear. I was starring anyway, that's my defense. So let's see. What else ouch should play something in there to avoid killing myself going up and down. Uh what else can we do today? Yes. I took some clay, turned it into bricks, and the bricks into, well, bricks. So what can, can we do with this? We can go here and make a furnace, an alloy furnace. This is a red power to uh, item, so it's a good item. It's very good. It's very nice. It's very useful. Let's craft one piece of tin and three pieces of copper. Place it in here. Uh, let's craft, for example, some beer's wood. And let it cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. Let me remove the music. It's a little annoying. And what we're going to get by doing this is not bronze but brass. Why brass? What's brass for? Well, first I'm going to need some sand. Oh, it already exhausted its supply. Let's place it in here. Let's grab some charcoal. Let's place two of them in there. And we can place the charcoal in here. You can see I have quite a bunch of copper cable and a lot of rubber. Uh, essentially, once you reach this point, it's uh, pretty easy to keep uh, getting rubber. It's just a matter of getting more and more energy, which you can see the generator is pretty few full, and the internal capacitor of the structure is working as intended. The bricks have, have other uses, but for now, let's leave it like so. Also, I should craft myself a uh, shovel. So let's do that. Here we go. And I'm awfully low, if not completely out of... Um, yep. Torches. There we go. Perfect. So now we have everything we need for now. Let's have a look down there. It's great. Something to eat. Something to harvest. And everything's okay. Remember, flax seeds have more uses than just planting your your flax plants and getting the string. It can also be used to make the different uh, paints. Rest power two uses. Also, seeds are used by uh, are required to make uh, chickens uh, to mate. I also made uh, small animal kennels here, so to speak. You can see we have uh, four of each animals. It was pretty hard to find them and drag them in here. But somehow I managed to do that. Anyway, now we have some glass and we have some brass. So let's place this and this and ta-da! Pneumatic tubing! Yay! What's the pneumatic tubing? Well, they're essentially uh, what Red Power uses to move items around. So we place it in here, we place the chest in here, 
and now everything that gets thrown in there, like so, oh, it's going to get uh, eaten, so to speak, by the filter, or oh, the transposer, sorry, and deposit on the chest. It's my hope that uh, these chickens will be but the first bunch of um, a chicken farm. Yay! Why not? I like it. <laughs> Let me do this, and uh, we can do this here. Yeah, perfect. In fact, I don't really need this uh, water stream to be so long, but uh, why not? So, one thing about this uh, chicken farm, so to speak, is that it doesn't require anything from me but uh, to get the chickens <laughs> and so let them be, well, grow, so to speak. Uh, there are some more eggs, and you can see they give food and movement, this little, uh, no, exchange, sorry, this little symbol on top, that's uh, from Thumbcraft. Essentially, they can be used for both researching and uh, other stuff. And we weren't lucky. Only two chickens. Well, once they grow up, they can be <coughs> made. Uh, they can mate together, thanks to seeds. Anyway, uh, moving on. This alloy furnace is all right and good, but it has a little problem. It uh, runs on on coal, and uh, I don't really like things that run on coal. So I'm going to craft or try to craft myself something with the nickelite and the silver ore. Please do remember that uh, while I would love uh, to craft myself uh, a macerator here, I require three diamonds to do so. That means I'm going to mine quite a lot before I can craft myself one of those. Uh, however, that's a Gregtech modify recipe. So if you don't happen to have Gregtech, do not worry. It will be okay. Anyway, I'm going to need uh, one of these, at least. But I'm going to cook uh, something else. Essentially, I want to craft this solar panel, which requires blue alloy ingot and blue dope wafer. The blue alloy ingot requires the silver ingot and four pieces of nicolite, which is fairly easy, but the blue dope wafer requires silicon wafer, silicon bull, a diamond hand so That means I, I'm pretty screw up. I need at least uh, five diamonds to start working hard. Oh dear. Or, uh, well, I can, yes, I can't craft uh, this macerator until I get myself that. Or I can, uh, no, uh, let me think, can I go here, there's no, nope, there's here no oh creative tabs no no it's not factorization it's um it's not uh can't oh yes i can i can it's here so, great. It's a little hard to move in here. Uh, thermal expansion. Okay. Pulverizer. Yeah. The pulverizer requires a piston, so two pieces of copper, flint, a machine frame, rest and reception coil. That means a gold in here and gold in here. I need two pieces of gold at least. It's easier to find than the other options. So, let's uh, store all these here. Uh, no, not the charcoal. 
but I'm going to leave this in here. I'm not going to miss this. Gonna need to make myself some more of that. So let's place this in here and this in here. And uh, we can go on. Time to mine. See you later. And would you look at that? We found diamonds. Yay! <clears throat> I actually had to go up to grab the iron pickaxe, but uh, I suppose I chose wisely the right direction to mine. Yay! Let's check if there's anything else. I know there's a. Uh, an ore at my feet. Do not worry, I won't leave it uh, lying around without me grabbing it. Um, there's nothing here. Nope. Okay, can I grab it? See? Yeah. Silver, probably. Aluminium. Okay. Four diamonds. Great. I think I hear some lava rounds. Danger with Robinson. Uh, I don't know what's happened when it's uh, when I'm down here in a dark cave. I am making myself, but I tend to speak uh, very, very well, whispering. I tend to lower my voice, whisper lots, and be wary of uh, what I can't hear. Yeah, we all know creepers. Shh, boom. Okay, time to keep mining. And a few paces back here. Yay, more. Uh, well, these are from Rift Power 2. Sapphires. I believe uh, we won't be finding uh, the other sapphires from Greg Tech. Probably. Uh, we're only going to find uh, Rest Power 2 versions. And uh, I'm cleaning quickly. Uh, yeah, iron, great. This place to keep going and find something worthwhile. Like that iron up here. Three pieces at least, not bad at all. Anyway, I have enough now to make a, a macerator, which means I will be able to craft myself a solar panel. Now the decision would be to go with the macerator or with the diamond hanso. I'll probably go with the macerator because while well, the diamond hanso is amazing, uh, with the macerator I can create more diamonds. Sadly, I don't seem to be able to find any gold at all. Oh well. And I broke my shovel. Time to craft another one. And under the dirt there was some gravel and you can see we're finding quite a, a hidden mine of goodies in here. Yay! Goodies. We all like goodies, don't we? So, well, yes, it's a little wasteful to harvest all that gravel and all, uh, all that dirt, but uh, it's fast compared to digging through stone and uh, you can uncover a lot of uh, uh, well a lot of space quicker and there's some shycraft crystals oh and more copper I believe it's that's so very worthwhile yep, yep copper I know about bauxite, or that's from Greg Tech. Uh, pretty much useless unless you have um, a Greg Tech's macerator or electrolyzer. I will harvest it anyway, just in case. And I broke my pickaxe, so time to craft another one. Uh, you know, that's going to make use of this frankly. There we go. Sapphire pickaxe. As quick as diamonds, but uh, it won't hold as good, so it will rake sooner than the diamonds. It will last for a long time anyway, so 
I will be able to find uh, more materials very quickly, hopefully. Another thing I need to do is to go upstairs, grab myself my bucket, get a piece of uh, lava, craft myself a block breaker which still has the same chip recipe. It is very impressive because you only need a, a diamond pickaxe to craft it. Uh, everything else is uh, a regular piece of redstone, uh, maybe a piston. I'm not uh, all that uh, sure. I should uh, have a look at it again. And so you will get uh, yourself uh, an item that uh, can't move, uh, needs redstone pulses to work, but lets you break uh, obsidian. So you can drop um, some lava in front of it, then some water, let it solidify, and you will get, uh, well, obsidian. And you will be able to harvest it. Of course, I can harvest obsidian with uh, sapphire pickaxe, but, uh, well, I don't really like it. Oh, incidentally, yes, you can make a Hanso out of uh, sapphire or or emer or uh, well, blue or green sapphires or all those other materials. However, you won't be able to uh, cut the same materials with them. So, for example, you won't be able to cut. Uh, what I already told you I needed to, uh, to use with Nicolite and craft the red power to solar panel but I will I would be able to cut for example stone or uh, cobblestone into well panels and the like which are usually uh, decoration blocks or if not for decoration, you can use them for other uses, like, uh, I don't know... Oh yes, of course, uh, you can use them with frames, which is an advanced part of Red Power 2, and uh, well, to combine some other stuff, like uh, this, the items you want to place over your frame machine. Now, frames are, for those of you that are not all that familiar with Red Power 2, uh, a kind of uh, block added by Red Power 2 that uh, can move and move other items. Think of it as something similar to a piston, but instead of uh, needing some redstone power to be activated, uh, they require um, a devoted engine. That means uh, something LRAM make, uh, made exclusively for the frames and uh, they require Blutricity, which is uh, Red Power's electrical energy. Once you have all that, you can use the frames. Hey, gold! Great! Yee -hee. You can use the frames to move uh, around themselves and other blocks, like, for example, block breakers. In fact, it is a very useful practice to graph your block breakers and uh, place them into a frame machine maybe 9x9 nine nine or 10x10 ten ten or whatever you want by whatever you want and give it uh, right now since uh, you have see there's lava there uh, since you have uh, a new version of frames let me show you here are the frames this is the basic support frame brass surrounded by sticks but you can turn them to with tubings into two frame or with redstone or redstone tubings into redstone two frames. There's, this is the frame motor. You can see it's just a brass, blue loy, iron a motor from blue Tristy, copper coils, all this iron and the fine copper wire requires a diamond draw plate and a copper ingot. Now, that requires an iron panel strip and a diamond panel. So, diamond hanso. Lots of diamonds. Anyway, uh, you can use uh, four engines to allow... Uh, yeah, you can use four engines to allow your machine to move... Uh, your frame machine to move up, down and uh, into one direction. Up or down? 
no, you need six. You need two engines for each uh, moving, because you need one engine to reset the position of the engine you're using and let it move the, the entire frame uh, machine again. Nothing really complicated. It's, uh, it's in fact simpler than it sounds. So you can make yourself an automated quarry that doesn't require any kind of power. Well, you need to make it solar powered because it will require blue, blue electric power to move. But you can make it as big as you as you want, allowing you, for example, to gather I don't know, like 64 items at a time, or if you prefer, 16 items at a, at uh, every second, or well, every two seconds. One tick to get the items, one tick to move down, one tick to get the items, one tick to get down. Once you reach bedrock, you need to get up again, move 16 blocks into one direction, down, up, and repeat. Uh, you will usually use an ender chest to teleport all the uh, goodies you get there to your... Uh, crafting system or your processing system, but uh, that's well something I, I will be looking at into a future episode because essentially you need a, a lot of resources to start making it. Okay, we can now choose between making a macerator or going for the other one. However, I'm going to craft a macerator because I already have some power generation. Uh, so let's get at it. We first need, I already cooked some, refi some refined iron, a machine block. We're also going to need uh, three diamonds and four flint. Another reason to clear all that uh, room was precisely to get the flint we were going to need. Now here's the recipe. Or here. Oh dear, what did I do? Why I I did something wrong? Oh, it's an advanced circuit in here. Oh dear. So this goes like, that's like so, but uh, there's an advanced circuit. Now, an advanced circuit is essentially bad news. Or we can go for a, a grinder. Uh, Maze of Wolframium tungsten and refined iron or the diamond grinder which requires refined iron diamond rust problem we have a problem here oh dear if we go for this simple option we are going to need lapis which I don't have and glowstone which I don't have either oh 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 Okay, so we messed it up in there, but we can make something else. We're going to need this. And we're going to need the next level. This one's stone gears. We're also going to need uh, some redstone and a piston, because we are going to craft another... I mean, uh, we're going to need uh, more redstone and iron because we're going to craft another piston. Okay, so with this and this, and we're going to need one piece of um, glass, which we have in here crafted from before. <coughs> See, that's one of the reasons I prefer um, those <coughs> automatic crafting tables or Loram's uh, project tables. Anyway, with this, 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 and this, we get a Stirling engine. Yay! Now, that's one. this is one of the problems I see with Greg Tech, with um, <coughs> more expensive recipes. Uh, if you have other mods than Industrial Craft, <coughs> you can go around this problem. <coughs> so, we made our Stirling engine, and, one, uh, and now we're going to make ourselves a lever. And now we need to use this with this to craft the rest and reception coil. And with this, uh, the other gold ingot and all this, we craft something I made wrong. There it is, the machine frame. 
No, it was... Uh, I don't know. We get in here, uh, creative tabs, thermal expansion, pulverizer. It was the pulverizer. There we go. So we need another, yet another piston, and two flint and two copper. Do I have some copper already crafted? I have one copper. I need another one. Where's the copper? Here. Perfect. And since things are like so, we can go ahead, grab this. Uh, we have this in here, so we're going to craft another item from Industrial Craft. If I am not mistaken. Yes, the electric furnace. Why do I want to craft this? Well, because when I do this, besides powering the extractor again, I will be powering this electric furnace. You can see the capacitor is full. And I can do this, and it won't waste any extra power, like uh, the regular furnace. So I will be saving on fuel. Okay, got copper, got uh, some flint. And now I can go here, uh, place the flint in here. I'm going to need another piston. Forgot about that. There we go, perfect. So we get the piston, the machine block, the rest of the engine, the copper, and now we get to place the flint in on top of it. Pulverizer, yay! Of the Stirling engine. So let's do this. Let's place the pulverizer in here. You can see there's red in top, yellow, blue. What's in the bottom? Let's see the configuration. It's yellow on the bottom. No, I want red on the bottom. I'll say yellow in, in there. Perfect. Let's place this in here and uh, the lever in here. Activate this and place. 3 charcoal, for example, to start with. You can see this capacitor is filling up. And now we should be able to start crafting some goodies. Some goodies, yay! Let's take the gold, which is the thing we least have, and place it in here. Uh, the electric furnace is empty. Let's place more charcoal in here. We can be a little more generous in here, the extractor's working, and you can see the recipe's working. So the pulverizer is working, it's uh, spending more than earning, more or less. And you can see the items disappear immediately. They fall through uh, to the electric furnace and are now being cooked. That's one of the good things of thermal expansion, you can make the well, the items get extracted and placed on the on whatever is uh, on that slot immediately, so you don't uh, need a lot of tubing like uh, with uh, Industrial Craft or with other machines. And now we can get going. And besides, by having things like that, I don't need uh, to save those three diamonds for this uh, fella. So I can go ahead, uh, grab the iron I don't have, I only have one iron in here, so I'm going to need to macerate iron next, it's a pretty safe bet, you're going to need iron one, uh, every one and then, I can't place all this in here. Okay, uh, we're going to produce more of this power than we really need. Anyway, with the... Uh, I was going to do something with this iron. Two pieces of iron... Da, 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 da. What was I going to do with two pieces of iron? Can't remember. Oh yes, now I know. So let's do this, this, and uh, no, I'm going to need, I think. Did I really? I'm not sure if I really needed uh, the two pieces of iron. 
No? Yes? Let's have a look. I'm on hand, so yes, we did need it like this, this, and this. Perfect! We now have a diamond hand, so. So let's grab ourselves some sand, place it in here. Let's uh, place some. No, no, no. Let's not place some charcoal in there. Let's grab some coal, place it in here, and now we can place one, two, three, four, five, for example, pieces of charcoal. No, I don't want to be so generous. Three should be more than enough. So we get a silicon bowl. Let's wait for all this to cook. Okay, we got the silicon bowls. They, it doesn't have any kind of use but being cut into silicon wafers. You can see the, the diamond has so took some damage. Do not worry, it can take it. Don't get used to it, so. And so we're going to need the silver ingot, the nickelite, and so now uh, its silver ingot requires four nickelite to be cooked. <clears throat> also, I will be dropping the silicon wafer in here. You can't really make uh, any kind of uh, stacking or something. It takes uh, about f uh, four nickelite per silicon wafer, so it's going to craft uh, 64. It's going to make 16. Okay, it's okay. 16 should be, in fact, a little too much. Let's leave it like so. 55. Yeah, should be more than enough to craft. Uh, a solar panel and we're going to need more silver now that I think about it. Oh dear. Ah, we ran out of uh, energy in here. Okay. And here too. Oh dear. It's a little grumpy this system. It requires uh, a little extra help. Do not worry about uh, overfilling here. The pulverizer has much wider internal storage capacity than a generator and uh, a furnace together. Do not worry about that. Okay, so I need to instead... You can see the same trick I used before with the, the furnace goes in here. And the silver got down immediately. Impossible. Can't be. What? Where did it go? There's a single red slot. Oh. Did I lost uh, one of the silver ores? Mm, I don't know. Oh well. Uh, oh well, let's wait for it to cook again. A little more of this in here, thank you. In fact, I'm going to craft a little more uh, of those uh, blue alloy ingots because we need uh, at least uh, two, but we can use uh, three, four, or five even so. So it's a little like, uh, well, why not? And we have only six crafted, which means we need to craft uh, some more of those. And uh, let's... oh, crap. See, that's a problem. Oh, there. There we go. Perfect. Uh, there, and uh, let's show it to... there. Okay, time to keep cooking and waiting. So let's see how we do this to finish this uh, episode. Here you can see the blue electric furnace and the blue electric alloy furnace. So we need this for this one and this for this one. We're going to need clay, alloy, etc. So let's grab some clay. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five. So, where did I place it? Three, four, five. Okay, we can craft clay like, like so. And we're going to need some iron, perfect, and some blue alloy. So, 
here, 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 and here gives us a blue electric furnace. Uh, shame we can't uh, reutilize the alloy furnace to make something else, but uh, what can we do? Perfect. And finally, with this and this, we can craft a solar panel. Great. Well, not uh, really all that great because we have small problems when it comes to certain stuff. Let me place here whatever I have. That's a surplus, so to speak. And we can uh, establish ourselves outside because I don't want to make any kind of hole right now in my, my little tent. Uh, no, you go in there. Let's wait for daytime. I don't want to be blown up by a roaming creep, uh, creeper. And uh, then we can finish the episode with a working system that let us uh, use solar energy and uh, well, other energy too. Okay, uh, this seems to be clear enough. So we can do this this and uh, let's do it like so you can't see it right now but uh, these two items are getting power from the sun essentially uh, they are sh you can see here is growing a little red dot and here too it's because uh, all of rest power machines act like uh, they are also cables like industrial craft which require uh, some sort of connection in between. I mean, uh, you can place a generator and it will provide energy to all machines connected to it, but uh, were I to place this one in here, the extractor wouldn't uh, give the ener any energy to, to the electric furnace produced by the generator. You need to lay some cables on the ground for that. Anyway, we have some copper we can craft, uh, cook this iron and we can keep uh, grinding our materials. Oh, this first ore is a new item for Greg Tech that can be used to craft uh, something I found myself uh, was clogging my development before. You can turn five, five of, them, of them into nickel or pulverize them into uh, pulverized ferrous dust and shiny dust, maybe. Or use induction smelter, etc. So it's uh, you can get some well, a lot of these things. Uh, you can you use the nickel to craft uh, some items you require to make more advanced uh, materials for for uh, Greg Tech. Oh, a uh, little detail in here. Personally, I prefer not to cook the lead ore because you can use, uh, use it to make some non-rechargeable batteries, which is a great way of getting some extra power if you need it. And, uh, well, one, you can always cook it later. Tungsten... I believe it can be used to get a wool framium from Greg Tech. So we got silver, we got lots of stuff, and uh, I believe it should uh, be time to give it a treat to our hard-working chickens. Hey, how are you doing? There and there. Make a small chicken. Perfect. And I got some experience for that. And you can see here we got 12 eggs already right. So our small farm is working as intended. Simple yet effective. And if I can get myself another of these. Yay, perfect. We will uh, have now four times as many eggs, which is great for the future. Now I can use the blue electric furnace and the alloy furnace instead of burning more, more coal. But uh, since I only have one solar panel, it, I will have to use it uh, carefully. Anyway, I think this is a um, good wrapping up point. 
I have uh, now enough uh, crafting capability to start making some really good advance and I should uh, be crafting myself some extra um, well some extra solar power for this time for industrial craft in no time at all also I suppose I will be making uh, some block breakers to make myself uh, well to great to gather myself quickly some obsidian and uh, get myself a uh, portal to the nether so I can uh, get some glowstone and craft uh, some advanced circuits. Of course another option is to do as I usually do and make uh, some H-book but for that first I need to do something with the cows and since I'm at it Oh, of course, the pigs are not uh, reacting to this at all. Well, if they were using the, the corn or something. I completely forgot. Oh well. Be back in the next episode and have fun, people. See ya!